What's going on guys, this is EK1 Gaming here and today's video we're going to be looking at the exotic AR, the big horn. Now first off you can get this by doing legendary missions and it's a random RNG drop. Secondly I have to tell you, you cannot re-roll any stat on an exotic item so do not try and re-roll it, you've got to get a half decent roll when it drops but being legendary you should have at least one thing maxed out on it I'm pretty sure as you can see the big horn is here 105k damage fall assault rifle damage health damage crit hit damage so ideally I would have took off the health damage there for maybe crit chance now this is a bit of a review on this weapon and how good it really is or how bad it really is for me personally I actually don't really like the gun I don't think it's very good at all. Now, one of those reasons are the recoil of the weapon. If you look, the recoil is ridiculous. Now, this is on PC, so I find that the recoil is actually easier to control on a PC. However, it still jumps and it kind of moves around in a really erratic motion. As you can see also, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Now, this is my AR Shredder build that I'm using this with. So basically, I've got all AR damage, all crit damage, crit chance. However, it's just not putting this M NPC down, not even in a clip. So a whole clip, and let me tell you about the clip, you only get 30 rounds in the clip. You can't add an extended mag. So basically, there's no mods you can do to this gun. You've got 30 rounds, 800 RPM, but it's not actually hitting hard at all. This is the issue that I found with it. One, recoil. Two, the mag size. It just doesn't hit as hard as I want it to hit. It's hitting for 229k, which is not high enough when you got like the Savage Wolverine with mods and with uh, different talents that you can actually use. Yes, when you scope in, you are going to hit harder. 1.2 million I've just hit for, okay? So 1.2 million when you scope in. But how often when you're playing Heroic can you actually stay scoped in like this and start hitting shots? and using it as a rifle. You don't need to use it as a rifle because simply the M1A builds or my rifle build, my DPS rifle build that I've put out already hits harder than this without having to use the 30 mag with lower DPS. So personally, I actually don't see the big deal of using this weapon. Now I might be wrong, I don't know, but really, honestly, for me, it's a complete no. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you on a supply drop on Heroic um, the actual damage it's going to do to an NPC. So you can see it's doing damage, but when you're in this position, you're very vulnerable. So you're aiming down sight, you're very vulnerable. Okay, I've missed a few shots there, which is fine. But generally, it's not very good at all. If they just increase the magazine size and then made it so you could actually change maybe one of the stats... I don't even think that would help very much. It's just a simple non-DPS gun, really. The basic damage on it is high. However, it just doesn't seem to hit very hard. Now, I don't know if that's just my build, but this build with the Savage Wolverine literally shreds through heroic missions and heroic um, control points. I've showed you the build on a video before. If you want to look at that build, I'll link it. Um, just above to the top right of the screen now if you click there it will take you to the AR shredder build But as you can see it's taking down the red NPCs. Yeah, kind of with ease But 30 rounds you find yourself actually Reloading a lot more than you should now for me if I wanted to use it as a rifle I would just equip the Baker's dozen from my build video the rifle DPS build video Which absolutely shreds through heroic again the video will appear now in the right hand corner So if you want to go and look at that you can do it will also appear at the end of the video So basically it's just kind of a waste for me It's good to have and know that you've done a legendary and um, I got this on the capital legendary um, so yeah, so it's RNG, it's not guaranteed to drop, but it will drop eventually if you keep doing them. Um, but yeah, is it really worth the grind? In my opinion, no. Could you do a build around this? Yes, but you would need, uh, in my opinion, a good secondary weapon to go along with it to stop basically the reloads 
constantly because 31 rounds is not a lot of rounds especially by like the game at the moment with the desync and um, with you miss like bullets not registering if you don't four of them or five of those bullets don't register you're only getting 20 odd rounds so that's not going to drop an npc at all like you can see i hit every bullet pretty much there and he didn't didn't die and that's just a rusher those rushes you can drop in pretty much two shots with a normal rifle or actually ar savage wolverine you can drop them really fast so guys that is going to be the end of the video my verdict on the big horn is it's a waste of time if you've got any comments on that Put them in the comment section below. I will reply to every single one. Massive, massive shout out to everyone who watched the glitch video. It has now been patched. Thank you to everyone. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Let's go.